Right. So we got three candidates for governor, three for lieutenant governor, two for attorney general, two for Senate, and three a Senate position, mind you, and three for House representative on one ballot. So you vote for one of each option. So we disregard spoil votes, write in candidates and unchecked boxes and all that. All right. So many different ways are to fill out this ballot if we vote for one of each option. All right. So so let's start with the governor. Um Let's see, how can I write this out so that it looks neat? Well, let me do this. How about this? Governor, right? So, governor, there are three options, okay? Um, well, you know, I'll just do three boxes for the three options. So you got to pick one. There's, there's three ways of doing that, okay? Uh, lieutenant governor. I'll go LT. Go for lieutenant governor. There are three candidates for that, right? So Democratic, Republican, Libertarian, whatever, right? So there's three there, right? So um, um, so the, the point is that you could go Democratic governor with Democratic Lieutenant Governor, or you could go Democratic Governor, Republican Lieutenant Governor, or you could go Democratic Governor with Libertarian, right? Or you could go Republican Governor with Democrat, Republican Governor with Republican, Republican Governor with Libertarian, or you could go, uh, let's say, Libertarian Governor with Democrat, Republican, or Libertarian. So we've got this is one way of doing it, DD, or you could go Democratic Republican, Democratic Libertarian, right? Um, what am I missing here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no, I've got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those are the nine ways of doing it. If you just looked at the governor, lieutenant governor, right? Um, so there's nine ways of doing it, all right? Um, two candidates for attorney general then. So if we add on the attorney general, so there's two candidates here. Um, um, so maybe these again are Democrat Republican. So that means you could take one of your options here and you could add on a Democratic Attorney General. And that, that makes one way of doing it. Or you could take any of these and add on the Republican Attorney General. So this or this. So you could go D, 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 or you could go... Uh, you could go if you wanted to DDR, right? So for any one of these nine, you could add on another, a Democrat or a Republican attorney general, and you could make uh, two new, two ways out of each of these ways, right? So, um, or, or you could go, let's say, you know, Democrat governor, Republican lieutenant governor, Democrat, uh, attorney general, or you go Democrat governor, Republican lieutenant governor, or Republican uh, attorney general, right? So that's so, so in other words, to the, to the DR, you could add on a D or an R, right? And that would make two ways here. So, two ways, two more ways here, or to this one, you could add on a D or an R, D or an R, and so on. And so, for every one of these nine ways, you can add on another way. All right, and so so two two more ways. So so in other words, you get nine times two, which is eighteen. So the trick is we just basically multiply these numbers. Three times three, nine times two, eighteen. Okay. So next one is two candidates for one a particular Senate position. So if the particular Senate position is up, 
and there's two candidates there, right? And once again, you take any one of these options and you add on the um, uh, whatever the parties are, and boringly, again, it's going to be usually Democrat or Republican, right? So we'll take any one of these with the three and add on a D or an R. So take any one of our 18 options from the th with three and now add on a D or an R and now that makes like 36. So now you got 36 ways of filling it out. So you just multiply by two. So that's the Senate and three candidates for the House Rep um, or the, the Congress. Um, Congress person, and so there's three there, one, two, three. Um, and again, you take any one of the options with four, which are 36, and you get out on your, your Democrat or your Republican or your um, Green Party, let's say, or whatever, right? And so that's 36 times three, uh, 78, I think. But I'll work that out just to be sure. So basically, the trick is you take the options and you just multiply these numbers, right? Um, how many different ways are there to fill out this ballot? Three times three is nine, times three is 27, uh, 27 times four, and I gave you the wrong answer, didn't I? Because um, uh, so we have three times three is nine, times two. 18 uh, times 236 uh, times 3, uh, sorry, it's 108, not 78, 108, okay? So we've got 108 ways there, all right? Um, and then the next question is, um, if we add a yes-no option for a tax levy, how many ways are there now to fill out the ballot? Okay, so so tax is, you know, yes or no. Okay, so now you take any one of those 108 ways of filling out the ballot, and you can, at the very end, you can put a, a Y or, a, or an N for yes or no for the tax levy, let's say. And there's two options there, yes or no, and um, so just times it by two, and that should be 216, right, 216 ways, right? Now, of course, there's more. Way. I mean, this is just theoretically if you were to actually check all of the boxes and, and make a choice. Of course, there's lots of ways. You could Another way to fill out the ballot is to say um, none of the above, right? So there's another way to fill out a ballot. None of the above. And just write that in there and turn it in. Or you could say, um, just say, uh, well, I like this candidate and I, I don't like this tax measure and that's it. And just turn it in and just leave everything else blank. So theoretically, there's lots of ways. Of turn in, or you could say, um, I don't like voting and turn that whole thing in, and that would be called a spoiled vote, right? So there's lots of ways to fill out a ballot. You don't have to vote for everybody, as we as we know. Um, but but if you were to vote for one, take one of the options, then you would have uh, 108 ways um, with this stuff, and then adding on the tax levy would be 216.